Can I just get you to introduce yourself? Oh, um, hi, I'm Julia Kozak, and I'm working with the Office of the People Visit on the programs team. And um, due to my artistic and Indigenous heritage and my background, I was asked to design the uh, vestments for the Pope for when he celebrates Mass in Edmonton at Commonwealth Stadium. And can you show us a little bit about what you're working on and the, sim the symbolism behind it? Sure. So this is going to be the main design that's on the vestment. Um, this is just a sketch of it. Mm -hmm. And um, so the background will be red. Mm -hmm. And then these pieces here will be white. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the center of it here will be copper leather, and it represents the Eucharist at the center of our lives. Um, these pieces will be yeah, white leather that's coming out. Now this design, I'm from the Northwest Coast, from the Niska Nation. And so we have a symbol in our art that we call uh, the, the stone and ripple. And it's where you drop a stone into the water and the ripples come out. And so it reminds us that we need to be careful in what we choose to say and what we choose to do in our life because it's going to affect generations to come. So choose what is true, what is right, what is just. And for us as Catholics, it's Christ in the center and he teaches us where, what, what we should choose to do to choose what is good and right. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a cross design in my Niska Nation's uh, artistic style. And these four pieces on the outside represent the four Gospels and how we are called to take them out to the four four directions or out to all the world. And this is um, to represent, the beadwork is going to represent water, a living water that comes out from the cross. And so it represents transformation through baptism and uh, uh, renewing of our hearts. And uh, so yeah, this beadwork will be on, on the front of, uh, on the front of the vestments. It's beautiful. I love the colors and the patterns. Uh, where do you get the beads from? Uh, some of them come from my personal collection that I've uh, collected over the years and used, so it's very special that uh, that they just come from my own personal collection. Some of them come from uh, beadwork, such as like the uh, there are freshwater beads that have been passed down from um, like my mother and my grandmother that mm -hmm. I've used in here as well. Wow. And uh, yeah, just okay. collecting beads over the years. Cool. I'm uh, so glad you're doing this. Uh, what's your greatest hope uh, for the visit, like an, an outcome or something to happen maybe during the visit? I really, I really think this is a time where people are going to experience healing. Uh, I think this is another huge step forward for the Indigenous people and the church and how um, the church is with her Indigenous people. And uh, I think there can be healing from this. There's There are people who um, are open and ready to forgive and um, they they need that opportunity and they want that opportunity and uh, so it's walking forward like they say on on the logo walking walking together and walking forward uh, hi uh, my name is adam kozak i'm julia's husband is this true julia this is true yes, okay I okay, just <laughs> okay and so i'm i'm in charge of holding the computer that has a scan of julia's original sketch here of the chasuble here and so, Julia, did you want to uh, talk a little bit about some of the significance in the, the chasuble design that you've made here? Sure, yeah. So, some more of the symbolism. So, basically, everything, um, every part of the chasuble has symbolism and meaning to it, um, even the colors. So, um, it's going to be, the Mass will be celebrated on the Feast of St. Anne. So, the main body of the chasuble is white. Uh, there is the red paneling in the center, and it's um, bordered by copper ribbons. Um, so red to my nation represents life and white represents spirit. And um, so we'd like to have that kind of balance between life and spirit. And that's why um, the design here is also very symmetrical. We'd like to have that kind of balance represented um, between life and spirit. And the copper represents uh, like our earthly nature. And um, so like my around the, the area of my nation, they would sometimes be able to find copper in the rivers, and so they would hammer it into shields and, and make beautiful art and designs out of it. Uh, so it really represents like earth um, being tied in with our spirit and our life. And uh, so yeah, the centerpiece where the Eucharist is is also going to be a copper, a shiny copper. And I thought that was very um, appropriate for tying in uh, our Lord coming to earth to become one of us and um, and bridging that divine and, and that human nature of us and uh, 
how he connects to us on, on that level, on a very earthly level. Wonderful. Uh, any message to indigenous people who are awaiting the arrival of the Pope? <laughs> well, uh, uh, I, I'll maybe speak to uh, non-indigenous people in how maybe things that we've heard in the news, um, especially in the last year, has uh, opened our eyes, and especially to uh, fellow Catholics and Christians. There are many indigenous people who who are Christians, who are your brothers and sisters here today. And so looking at this as more than just... Um, an issue in the news, but an issue of the heart and healing, I would say would really be great. So what would you say towards maybe people of indigenous heritage? Uh, it's, it's tough. <laughs> I would say um, if you're, if you're hurting from things, pray on it. Um, try to, find a space for where healing can begin in your heart, even if it's just a little. Um, yeah, walk forward and, and just keep on trying to um, extend hands of, of forgiveness when people are, are looking for forgiveness. We all need healing and forgiveness. And uh, yeah, be, be open to it as you can and uh, grow in that way, in that way, we will all experience healing and come together. Thank you so much, Julia, for doing this interview. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Adam. And blessings on your preparations as Pope Francis uh, comes to Edmonton real soon. Okay.